You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here. I have a great show today about significance. And thanks for joining me. And if you'd be so kind to press the subscribe button below for CNA TV. The gentleman poet would greatly appreciate it. Oh, the fragrance of a spring day. Blue sky, white sun, and rolling green hills. Remember, life is short. Enjoy these golden memories and dreams. Find time, make time. Take time to love, to smile, and to do something rewarding. Oh, the journey to significance when we add value to others. Life doesn't consist of years lived, but of its usefulness. Our focus must be beyond ourselves. If you are giving, loving, serving, helping, encouraging, and adding value to others. You are living a useful life, and that's significance. Here at NACA, it's all about teamwork, mowing, washing dishes, whatever needs to be done, <laughs> and co-owners Lisa Sweet and Lori Porter also. No one here is better than anyone else. One definition of significance. We shall be of more value in the world, be happier ourselves, and make others happier. Friends, I did not grow up gentle or much enlightened. It took me a while to get it. We usually see things not as they are, but as we are. But it came to me. I don't need a statue to know love. I can feel it in my heart. I don't talk much about politics or news. My poems and quotes are in their own way a refuge. I recognize evil when I see it. And maybe that's why I like George Washington Carver's quotes and poetry about love and understanding. In storytelling, we bring past, present, and future together in a way that helps us make sense of our lives. I believe I hear the best of who we are in these poems and quotes. CNAs trying to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. Now that's significant. Every life needs a purpose to which it can give the energies of its mind and the enthusiasm of its heart. When you're 80 or 90 and you're sitting on the porch rocking and you're looking back on your life, how will you feel about it? You won't have to answer to anyone or fulfill their expectations. Not your parents, or your spouse, or associates. What will you have done with the gift of life? The answer will be important to you then, so the question should be important to you now. The course of your life is determined by the relationships you form, 
the decisions you make, the actions you take, no do-overs. A study of 50 people in their late 90s were asked one question. If you could live your life over again, what would you do differently? Two answers kept surfacing from the people. I would reflect more and I would do more things that would live on after I am dead. Oh, what a perfect description for the preparation for significance. These near cent centenarians didn't wish for more money, power, or fame. They wanted to get beyond themselves and do something that mattered, boldly and purposefully. They recognized the value of a life given to significance. I had the good fortune of listening to basketball coach Nolan Richardson tell his story. Little Johnny walked into the drugstore and asked the druggist to use his phone to call Mrs. Johnston. Johnny called Mrs. Johnston, an elderly lady, and asked if she needed someone to mow her lawn. Mrs. Johnston said, no, I have a little boy that mows my lawn. Johnny said, I'll mow it $5 cheaper. And she said, no, the little boy I've got does such a good job. I wouldn't change for $5 cheaper. He said, well, I'll do it $10 cheaper and the first time is free. She said, I appreciate it, but I would never change. He does such a wonderful job. Johnny said, thank you, I understand. And he hung up the phone. Overhearing the conversation, the druggist said, Son, if you need a job that bad, I'll hire you here. Johnny said, I don't need a job. Puzzled, the druggist said, I don't understand. Johnny replied, You see, I am the little boy that mows Mrs. Johnston's yard. You cannot buy minds or souls. You must earn devotion of hearts. I always say you don't know how a horse will pull till you hook him to a heavy load. I wanted to do a lot of things. Some I did once and others were only dreams. Most are unrealistic now, but not everything. My imagination and my dreams may be a little worn, but now I have memories to share. I like to think I can still pull a heavy load. <laughs> Heart is what separates the good from the great. Remember this, friends. Give not from the top of your purse, but from the bottom of your heart. The shape of significance. Here are some things that all people who achieve significance have in common. They strive for excellence. They do the small things well, and they care about others. They constantly improve themselves. They give it their all. Life isn't significant except for its impact on other lives. Think on this, friends. When you were born, you cried and the world rejoiced. Live your life in such a manner that when you die, the world cries and you rejoice. Friends, when you pursue significance for your life, keep these thoughts in mind. 
The journey to significance takes time. Pursuing significance will take you out of your comfort zone. And once you taste significance, success will never satisfy you again. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.